We got a 1930 Ford Model A old school cool hot rod. I got to tell you, the more I look at this car and learn about it and uh, see all the little uh, features that it has, it's really cool. I like this car a whole lot better now that I know it better than before uh, I did my inspection. Uh, so anyway, it's an all-steel body, got a Cadillac 425 board and stroke to a 470 with dual quads, uh, four-speed trans in there, all sorts of real cool features I can't wait to tell you about. You can also go to volocars.com and look at all the pictures top to bottom, and that's where you can read the description about the car, and that's where you find a price tag on every car we have along with a monthly finance option. And there's a buy it now button. If there's a car that you're really excited about, lock it in while you're thinking. That way no one else will beat you to it. That's all at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Okay, so it's an all steel body, five window coupe. It's been chopped. Uh, it still has the original visor up here. You can see the windshield still uh, folds in and out. Uh, but the body itself, this is all metal, all clean. I don't see issues. Doors open and shut real nice. I don't see any issues. I don't see any rust. It all fits very well. Actually, the, the body work is nice and clean and straight. A couple little... Uh, like dents from the inside out, little ones right there. This is all in real good shape. We'll open that up in a minute. All nice, clean, all the lines are nice, all metal, all looking good. Painted in hot rod black. Uh, it was painted pinstripe by Brando. He's a local, uh, very well-known uh, pinstriper. He's been doing it for decades. And we'll get more to that in a second too, but let's keep talking about the body. Door shut real nice. Yes, one finger. Lines up nice. No rust, no damage. All looking really good. Still has the gas cap up here on the cowl. Uh, so yeah, body's looking good. Now let's talk about the paint. It is the hot rod black, like a flat, semi-flat paint, and just pinstriped galore. Uh, it's got the flame job. It's got the spider webs. It's got it all going on. It's really cool. Uh, the moon eyes, uh, those are stickers slapped on the side there. But it all looks really sharp. The glass looks to be in excellent shape. The chrome mirrors look real nice. Now this bottle up here, the, the not a fuel tank, that's the overflow for the radiator. Headlights are pinstriped, got turn signals down there. <clears throat> Come around the back. Got some like teardrop style uh, tail lights. And then again, we were just talking about the pinstripe on the trunk. It has the Von Dutch flying eye in the middle there. Very nostalgic, very cool. Then the tires, I love the tires. Uh, they're reproduction, like vintage style white walls, uh, dragster tires in back, semi you know, street slick tires, big red rims with the Moon caps in the front and back. A very cool choice, tires and wheels. Got the 32 uh, grill shell up front. So now, why don't we uh, stop it and we'll look at the motor and look inside the car. Okay, something did drip on the paint and then ran down. It just slightly discolored it. It didn't crinkle it or lift it or anything like that. But check out this cool pinstrip. Look at all the detail. And the real key is matching it on both sides. They always want it to be even, and I would imagine that's what's difficult, making this side match that side. So this would have been a rumble seat lid. That's why it opens the opposite way. And for what it's worth, it, it functions really smoothly. This is where the fuel tank is. Obviously, a battery is located here. Got a big stainless braided uh, hose going up to the engine. Got an electric fuel pump in there. So the interior is very cool. This is genuine leather upholstery. The red really pops. Looks like the flames go right into the door jam. 
That's red leather door panels. The handles and hardware is new. It's a push button start. The key is underneath. You hit the button to start it. Is the Moon uh, hot rod style tachometer. Look at this. This is a piston rod that they use to hold the steering column. That's one of the cool features I was talking about. You got the shrunken skull hanging from the mirror. A uh, set of uh, Moon gauges, all match set of gauges. Leather kick panels, all new wiring with the modern push-in fuses. The headlights, the ignition is hidden up there. Carpeted real nice, uh, but hang on, don't, don't go away. Look at that, how the eyes light up. That is cool. Uh, it's a four-speed Muncie, you got a floor e-brake, then you even have the old nostalgic moon pedals on the floor. Like I said, genuine soft leather upholstery. Looks like it even has an armrest that comes down. And the hole inside of the cab. Uh, this will be vinyl on the headliner, but it's all upholstered. Uh, and you got a really nice leather grip banjo style steering wheel on a tilt column. I'm six foot tall. I hopped in here, didn't think anything of it. It's very comfortable, believe it or not. Now, the old hot rodders back in the day, they would put Cadillac motors in these. It would have been in the 50s. They used the overhead valve Cadillac engines. So they, this is a Cadillac motor, but it's a much newer, probably from the 60s, 70s, but it's a 425. It's been bored and stroked to a 470. And then check out this intake. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, it says Cadillac performance part right on it, but I've never seen an intake like that. You had dual Edelbrock carbs, eight barrels dumping gas in there all together. Custom made valve covers with the breathers, aluminum alternator and pulleys. The motor looks fresh. It looks like it's all stainless hardware. I mean, this looks fresh. Plug wires run neatly. It's a billet distributor. Braided hoses, flat firewall, and these are the actual headers. There's a baffle in here. Uh, they make some noise, but that's it. There's no exhaust going all the way out the back. That's a hot rod, folks. Yeah, you're not going to be sneaking in late at night with this one. on the bottom edge of the seat, it's actually got heated seat switches. I honestly don't know if they're hooked up or not, but it does say heated seat. There's also a couple 12 volt receptacles now for charging your phone in there. So there is a hydraulic master cylinder in the trunk. I'm going to guess that's for a clutch. It might be a hydraulic clutch. So let's talk about what's underneath the car. It is on a completely custom box frame. That's painted gloss black, and it's all pinstriped up real nicely. Up front here, I told you earlier, it's got turn signals. It is a drop axle that's drilled, transverse spring, and then uh, chrome shocks, chrome Polished tubular control arms. All the steering arms are chrome. It does have a chrome steering dampener uh, down there. We got disc brakes in front with stainless braided uh, hoses. It's got drum bra brakes in the back. It does have an e-brake. The handle's on the floor in there. Um, look up at the motor. It's all fresh. Like I was saying, up on top is fresh. It is from the underneath as well. It's all painted as a high-torque starter. It's got a heavy-duty uh, scatter shield. The Muncie four speed that's in there, they actually deburred it. Normally they're just a rough cast aluminum. It's smooth and polished. So somebody spent a lot of time on the case on that transmission, making it smooth and, and shiny. Uh, custom drive shaft and has a Ford eight inch rear end. And check out the work on there is a pinup girl and it's all pinstriped and painted gloss black. 
has a four-link suspension in the back with tubular arms, uh, coil-over adjustable shocks. The floors in the car, they're all nice, stamped, clean, spotless metal floors, all painted gloss black. Uh, so underneath this car is actually really nice. This is a really well-built car. It's not uh, just a, like a backyard mechanic thrown together type of car. This, this is a, a, a well-built, cool car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman. Uh, they can help get it delivered. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, you'll be notified when the new ones are posted. Uh, so there you go. Thanks for watching.